Alright guys, before we get started, we want to see if we could agree on something. And here's what we're going to agree on. We would all agree that if we keep doing what we're doing, right, Mr. Einstein? He came up with the definition of insanity, which is? Doing the same thing, expecting different results. results. Right? So here's the deal. Mr. Einstein, that's easy for him because he's a scientist. So when he wants an outcome, he writes every step down. Step one, step two, step three, boom, what's the outcome? Right? And he knows that if he continues to do step one, step two, step three, the outcome is going to be the same. So we got to change things. Right? Now, Interesting story. Mr. Einstein in 1927 was walking in the Princeton University campus with his assistant. And his assistant said to him, Professor, I don't understand. At the beginning of the year, we gave the same exact test that we just finished giving to the same exact people. I don't get it. And Einstein in his brilliance said, the questions are the same, but some of the answers have changed. Right? Yeah. Here's, a, here's what goes on, guys. Who's been here more than five years? Right? Has things changed? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? right? Right. So five years or maybe six years or maybe ten years ago, you could take a $50 ad for two weeks on in the local newspaper and put that and sponsor 15 people, right? Who's reading the newspaper anymore, right? You could spend a lot of $50 now and get nothing, right? Because people are doing different things. The statistics say that people are looking at their phone 80 times a day or more, right? Who would have thought that five years ago, right? So there's things that, that, that we need to think about when we change. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you, and this is very important that we all understand this. Mr. Ken, Mr. Aki, Kara, Ms. Laurie, they started this business training with what Metro trains, which is the beginning of what we're doing, right? Simple things like networking. Anybody networks here, right? You talk to plumbers, you talk to roofers, you talk to other people. Those things still work, and you can't give them up because, oh, Mike, taught me this or this this new strategy now it's not what I'm what I'm here for today what I'm here for today is to kind of add to what is already working so we know networking is working right I still go to BNI meetings right so that's something that I still do we still talk to friends and family you can't stop talking to friends and family because you think you Facebook is gonna save you it's not Facebook is something you add but it's not that you stop talking to friends and family, all right? So let's just get clear with that. Business cards, passing out business cards, all these things still work. Now, here's the deal. Everybody that's successful here, that you see that's sitting here, that's been doing the business for a while, did all of these things and it worked, right? But now we have to do a little shift because the questions are the same how do we get more exposure? How do I recruit more? How do I get more claims? The questions are the same, but the answers are a little bit different, right? So we have to add something to that. Now, this belly-to-belly -belly marketing is what I call chase marketing, right? I'm chasing. The problem with chasing, and, and, and understand that to a certain degree it works. Like we said, we, we build businesses with this. But just by pure definition, if I'm chasing something, it, that thing I'm chasing is running away. That's the <laughs> definition of chasing, right? I'm moving closer, the thing is moving away. So what I'm talking about here is attraction marketing. Now here's the thing. What happens when you go into a store, right? And you might go into the store knowing you want to buy something. But you go into the store and immediately the salesperson comes and says, can I help you? <laughs> what do we say? No, 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 no I'm just looking. Right? Now, that's a natural response. Right? We put up this wall immediately. No, 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 I'm okay. Thanks. People hate to be sold, but they love to buy. Hate to be sold, but they love to buy. 
So we got to keep that in mind and we got to use a strategy that's going to come in a different way, right? And this is what I call the attraction marketing. Now, okay, so three steps to attraction marketing. Very, very simple. I'm going to go through them quickly so that maybe we can do something. But step number one, and this is the step that a lot of people ignore or don't put any time to, and that is to identify your target market. Absolutely crucial. Absolutely crucial for you to say, okay, I'm looking for single moms that own a house that are of this age group that blank, 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 whatever it is, okay? You want to be able to dig as deep as you can with that target market because here's what you want to do. You want to then identify their major concerns, right? What's the concern of my single mom? that's uh, 34 years old that has this home and just experienced some damage, right? What's that concern? What is keeping them up at night? When they're laying in bed and they're in the dark looking at the ceiling, what are they thinking about? Now, if you can find out that question and you can make a list of that question and then give them the answer to that question, could you see where you would lift yourself up, right? You lift yourself up in their mind. They immediately says, hey, this is a trusted person. This is a trusted advisor. I can trust this person. And they got answers that I'm looking for, right? So very simple, these three steps, guys. Drill, drill these three steps in your head because when you do a video or any kind of marketing out there, guys, this is what's going to get you results, right? This is what's going to attract people to you. Identify who you want to speak to. You're not speaking to everybody. You know, you get these, these MLM companies that sell weight loss products and they say, everybody in America is overweight. You know what? There's a lot of overweight people that don't want to lose weight. <laughs> right? So you could go knocking your head trying to sell them stuff and they don't want it. You know where you got to go? You got to go to the gym. Those people are doing something, right? So that's the target market. Those people are spending time, money, and energy to lose weight to do something. My fat Aunt Sue ain't gonna buy my products, right? <laughs> Hate to put it that way, but it's true, right? So you gotta know who you're talking to. You gotta address the right audience. Then identify what their, their problem is, and then give them the solution. Now again, guys, you know, the little story about Albert Einstein in the beginning, the, the answers have changed a bit, right? Again, it doesn't mean we stop the networking, stop passing business cards, stop talking to friends and family. We continue all that. But we got other things now that we could throw in the mix, right? We got other things now that can put our name out there and get people to know, like, and trust us and start approaching us. That's the key, right? I got to tell you, I'm, I'm extremely um, um, uh, proud of these two guys because I'll tell you the truth, guys. It's not easy learning something new. When, when you become an adult, nobody wants to learn, right? How many people read books every month, right? I do, I, I read a lot, I read several books a month, but most people don't, right? Most people haven't read since college, right? Most people don't wanna pick up new skills and that's a mistake. Now these two guys, I'll tell you, they went out there and they're doing it, right? And I'm telling you, it's an easy thing, guys, very easy. Very easy, you got a cell phone, if you got a smartphone, you can take a video of yourself and put that on YouTube and start getting people to notice you. It's no big deal, 